Hello, it's November and in this video, John's going to talk you through deadheading our Euphorbia mellifera, getting it ready for a lovely show next spring and summer. Welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now. And on this channel, we're hoping to help you develop your gardening skills. Whether you're new to gardening and would like some tips on propagation techniques, growing some vegetables, a bit of pest control, or whether you're a seasoned horty who could always use some extra advice. If you like learning those things, do consider following us. There's no charge, just push the subscribe button. And don't forget, push the all important notification bell. That lets you know every time we upload a new video. Okay, good morning everybody, uh, here we are again. Uh, today we're going to be looking at deadheading this Euphorbia. Um, it's Euphorbia mellifera, which as the name implies is the honey scented Euphorbia and it's got wonderful scent uh, when it flowers uh, late spring, early summer. This one as you can see has flowered quite well. Here are the dead heads and it's just a question of, of getting them off to let the plant shoot out. Right, you can see this is this is one which has flowered. And if you look down here, down below, there are new buds coming. So if we take that flower, dead flower head out, that will encourage those new shoots to come out uh, in the spring. So we're, so we're gonna take this dead head out. Now before we start, um, put gloves on, because Euphorbia has got a very, um, a very uh, dangerous sap and it can bring out um, uh, a, a, swellings and it can give you blisters, it can be very unpleasant. What I'm going to do here, you see, you can see where we cut it back, because that's the dead bit. There are the new shoots from there. So I'm going to go back to the new shoots and just take it off like that. Take that away and look, there is the, there is the sap. You know, I know people who've had really quite unpleasant reactions to that. Um, swelling and blistering, uh, it can be very, very unpleasant, especially in the, in the sunlight. So make sure you, you, whatever you do, you wear gloves when you're doing this job. You can say the same for all euphorbias, really. Let's put that down there. Okay, so we're, so we're working our way back, um, taking up all the dead heads as we go. Um, that one's there. But some, sometimes you get, I mean, this one here, this whole shoot looks rather black and unpleasant, so it doesn't do any harm to go quite hard in there and cut it back like that. Um, this one again is just dead heading. But you can see the sap has started to run already. And down here we'll take that one off. Quite all these lower ones are uh, actually looking a bit uh, unfortunate. That's because I think they've uh, been short of light. So we'll get that one off and get those back. Back around here. There's a, lovely, I mean, there's a lovely example of how you do it. You can see the new shoot coming down below. The, the three, the two shoots either side of it. Cut it off, and there you are, nice and tidy. So there we are, nice and tidy. Now this plant is quite quite vigorous. I mean, it's as tall as I am, um, and does does tend to come up in front of the window, as you can see there. Um, but what you can, it, it will take cutting back really hard. Uh, and but only do do that in the spring if you have to. But you could take it back to ground level, and it would it would come away without any trouble whatsoever. So there you are, lovely plants. We'll try and put some flowers up when, when they come up. Unfortunately, I can't put the lovely scent up, but it's uh, nice plant to have. That's Euphorbia mellifera. Well, we do hope that was helpful. Euphorbia mellifera really has the most gorgeous scent. It wafts in through our conservatory windows when I'm working in there in the summer. It really is lovely. If you enjoyed that and would like to follow us, do push the subscribe button, there's no charge. Push the all important notification bell, that lets you know every time we upload a new video. In the meantime, thanks so much for joining us here in Somerset. We've really enjoyed having you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time. <laughs>